let's sketch the graph of 3 natural log of x minus 2 plus 4. First, we want to sketch the graph of natural log of x. To do that, there's four things you need to remember. First, natural log of e is equal to 1. Natural log of 1 is equal to 0. Natural log of e to the minus 1 is equal to minus 1. And then there's a vertical asymptote of x equals 0. So first, we have the point e comma 1 on the graph. E is about 2.7. So if I go out 1, 2, and then roughly 0.7, we go up 1. That's one of our points. Next, we have natural log of 1 is equal to 0. We'll give that a big fat black mark because we'll want to track that when we push it through all the rest of the operations. Natural log of e to the minus 1 is minus 1. So this is 1 over e, which is roughly 1 third. So go over 1 third, come down 1, blacken that dot in. And then we have a vertical asymptote at x equals 0. So when I connect the dots, my graph looks like that. So now we want to go through all the operations, such as the minus 2 on the inside, the 3 multiplying on the outside, and then adding the 4. So what you have to remember is, think of how you evaluate your functions. You're going to put your numbers in on the outside, and then you're going to move out one step at a time. So that's how we graph. We graph one step at a time. So the first thing we want to do is, first thing I do is evaluate x minus 2. So I want to graph natural log of x minus 2. The rule here is, if I have x going to x minus 2 on the inside, we do the opposite of what we would think. You would think you'd want to go to the left by 2, but instead we go to the right by 2. If you want to understand how that works, think of it this way. The point 1, when I put it into natural log of x, gives me a 0 out. So to check that, we think about what number would I put in here to get 1 so that a 0 comes out. Well, that would be 3. So 1, 0 is going to go to the point 3, 0 if I move to the right by 2. Take a look. 1, 0 goes to 3, 0. So that's going to be 1, 0 is here. I go over by 2. And my big black dot moves over to the point 3, 0. What else moves? Well, our vertical asymptote is going to go from x equals 0 to x equals 2. And then we note that e comma 1 is going to go to e plus 2 comma 1. e plus 2 is roughly 4.7. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Come in a little bit, and then we go up by 1. e to the minus 1 minus 1 is going to go to e to the minus 1 plus 2 minus 1. So that's going to be roughly 2 and 1 third minus 1. So go over 1, 2. Go out a little bit for the 1 third. Come down 1, and that gives me the point there. So again, we can connect the dots, and that's going to give me natural log of x minus 2. So everything just comes over to the right by 2. What would we do next if we were evaluating? Well, we hit x minus 2 with natural log. Then we're going to multiply by 3. This is on the outside, so it's going to stretch y values, not x values. So it's going to work the way we would think. You just multiply all the y values by 3. Now we could cheat. We could use the same picture. And wherever I had the 1s along y, right here, we could just change them to 3s, and then we'd be done. But let's not do that so we can keep track of what's going on specifically. OK, if I multiply the y's by 3, well, that's just taking everything in this column that we had before multiplying it by 3. So we would just take our usual points from the last picture. That would be like the 4.7, which was at 1. Now it goes up to 4.7, up 3. 3, 0 stays where it is. And then my 2 and 1 thirds, down by 1, now goes down by 3. The vertical asymptote doesn't change. We connect the dots, and that gives me my new picture. For our final operation, we're just going to add 4, and that does exactly what you would think. We just raise the whole entire graph by 4. So 1, 0 goes to 3, 4. 
So our black dot at three zero, just gonna go up to here. Our e plus two comma three goes to e plus two comma seven. So e plus two is four point seven, goes up to seven and that dot winds up there. And then I have e to the minus one plus two, which is roughly two and a third. Now it's gonna go to two and a third comma one. So we go over one, two, one third, up one, and then we have the point there. The asymptote doesn't change at all when we move up by four. So now I'm just looking at this graph right here, and that's the graph that we're looking for.